Hello, I'm John Euclid with the National Safety Education Center, and we're going to take a look at one of the things that you have to have for a table saw. The table saw is the number one source of accidents that involved an amputation from 2015 to 2018 per the OSHA database. There were over 100 amputations a year with a table saw. There were three required guards on it. This is going to be a top guard. It's going to protect accidentally from touching the saw blade. Also, there must be a spreader that's going to sp split the wood and keep it apart because if the wood comes back to itself, it will want to kick back. And in the back, we have what we call anti-kickback fingers. So as the wood hits it, if the wood wants to come back, the fingers will dig into the wood and prevent it. Um, there's going to be an emergency stop button that's going to be on all the saws. You have to have one to make sure that if there's something wrong, somebody can hit it right away. I also recommend if you're going to cut a piece of wood, you'd have a table behind it because some of the accidents happen as they're cutting it, the person's going to reach behind here to grab it and they're going to be too close to the blade. But a lot of these sable saws, you have to show people how to use this correctly. You cannot just show them one or two times and expect them to use it. You're going to use things like a fence that you can help guide the wood so you're not going to sit there and hold it with your two hands. We want to use push sticks or blocks to push the wood so that it would hit that instead of your hands. So that's a very quick introduction to table saws. Thank you.